Hello there. My name is Tony, and welcome to Navigating the Workday mobile app. This is a series of short videos designed to help you get familiar and navigate the Workday mobile app. In this video, I'll go over completing your 2019 open enrollment for benefits in the Workday app. You can do this a couple of different ways on the app. Uh, you can either access this through the Workday inbox, or you can access through the benefit worklet. I will demonstrate both. First, I will demonstrate how to get to the action using your Workday inbox. And to do that, I'm going to click on the Workday inbox icon at the bottom of the screen. It's going to bring up your Workday inbox, and we do see we have open enrollment change there. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Let's Get Started. And the other way to complete your open enrollment on the Workday app is through the benefits worklet. The worklets are these little icons in the middle here, and they're a way to help navigate Workday easily and efficiently. If you don't see the benefits worklet listed there, you can click on View Apps, and then hopefully you should see benefits there. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on Benefits. And here we do see we have open enrollment. And up at the top it says not started, and then it says enroll. But we can do some other things in this benefit uh, worklet. We can check our current elections, and we can check our dependents. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at my current elections real quick. And we can see the coverage, any dependents, and so on. I'm going to click the back arrow in the top left-hand corner now. And to start our open enrollment, I'm just going to click on the enroll. And it brings us back to that healthcare and accounts. So to elect a coverage, simply click on the plan you wish to elect. And use that circle in the left-hand corner there to elect your coverage. And as soon as you click that circle to elect the coverage, you will be asked about dependent information. If you want to add a dependent or if you would like to cover a dependent for this coverage. If you already have a dependent in Workday, they will be listed under the existing dependents. So you only need to enter in dependents once into Workday. Uh, after that, they are existing dependents. So I'm going to add a new dependent in this demonstration. So I'm going to click Add New Dependent. All right, so the first screen you're going to get to is going to ask you if you want to use your dependent as a beneficiary. Always click No for this. Five Star does not keep beneficiary information in Workday. So I'm going to go ahead and click No. And in the top right-hand corner in green, I'm going to click Next. Now we need to simply complete all the fields with the red asterisks. You need to put in a date of birth. So once you start scrolling with your right finger, you should see a year bar populate on the left. Right now, 2019 is highlighted in blue. Whatever year that is in that highlighted is going to be the year that I'm working with. And I believe that's it. There's no other red asterisks unless you go into the national ID. One thing to note is that the address is the address for the team members. This is going to be your address. If you need to change the address for your dependent, you would just change that here. I'm going to leave it as is, and I'm going to click the Next button in the top right-hand corner. And then I'm going to click the Save. And now, to add these dependents to my coverage, I need to make sure that I click the checkbox so they both are checked. And now I can click Save, and I've added them to my coverage. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the vision. So I'm going to click into the vision, select my vision plan. 
add my existing dependents, click save. Now, if you are eligible, you will see the healthcare FSA and the dependent care FSA. Please check with your benefits partner about questions regarding these. So to enroll in one of these FSAs, let me click into it. And again, we need to elect it, so click the circle. Now you can either enter a per paycheck amount or an annual amount. Only enter one and the other will automatically update. So per paycheck on this one, I want to do $25. Then I'm gonna click save in the top right hand corner. And we do see that the annual amount changed as well. And I'm gonna click save again in the top right hand corner. And I've elected in a healthcare FSA. The dependent care FSA is very similar. So I'm gonna click into the dependent care FSA. I'm going to elect it. This time I'm gonna enter in an annual amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in $2,500. Click save in the top right hand corner. And then we do see that our per paycheck amount has calculated, so that's good. And I'm gonna click save in the top right hand corner again. And now I've made all my elections and now I need to view the summary. So I'm gonna view summary. And I can see as I scroll down all the elections that I've made and the dependents. And if I keep scrolling down, I need to scroll all the way down past the electronic signature. You need to read all this information about the electronic signature. And then you need to click the box that says I accept. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that box there. And once you click that box, now the orange submit button is highlighted and you can click the submit button and you are covered. Thank you and don't forget to check out other videos in this series.